Now, good evening. I'm Gia Vang. Terry has the night off. Only on NBC Bay Area, new surveillance video showing what happened seconds before a deadly crash on the peninsula. The crash kills a couple who leave behind daughters. Redwood City Police aren't saying what caused last night's crash, but witnesses say they saw two cars racing Del El Camino, at least one hitting the victim's car. NBC Bay Area's Alyssa Gord spoke with a family member and witnesses who tell us they're concerned about speeding on this stretch of road. This dark car makes a left hand turn from El Camino Real onto Finger Avenue. We've frozen the video before the moment of impact, but you can see another car speeding down El Camino and slam into it. The video came from Alonzo Flores' legacy repair shop across the street. He heard the crash and ran outside. Two vehicles uh, on the side of the sidewalk, or right on the sidewalk actually. One of the cars uh, kind of like smoking. And as a mechanic, I know that the car is about to catch on fire. Two people died and several others were hurt. This man, Michael Amon, tells us his brother Greg Amon and Greg's wife, Grace, were killed. Their two seven-year-old daughters were also in the car, but they're expected to be okay. He says the family was driving home from dinner when another car hit theirs. Going the other direction and push their car all the way down the sidewalk. A couple hundred feet. His two nieces now left without parents. As a parent, it's something you should never have to do to tell children they no longer have parents. He says the girls are in the hospital with minor injuries and have been told about their parents' deaths. Police say the 17 year old driver of the other car and two passengers were also taken to the hospital. They are all expected to be okay. Especially this area where traffic is really bad. People are like driving so fast and every time they're driving faster and faster. They use it as a highway when it's not. Flores says this is not the first crash he's seen here recently and he wants local leaders to pay attention. For the time being, he and his family brought candles to the growing memorial on the sidewalk. And Redwood City Police are still investigating this. They're asking anyone who witnessed this or who has any additional information to get in touch with them. In Redwood City, Alyssa Gord, NBC, Bay Area News.